five of our finest jockeys in what is a small but highly select field for this Tote Sport Bowl. Can Imperial Commander do the double that no horse has done for 70-some years here? Desert Orchid couldn't do it. Corto Star couldn't do it. Can Imperial Commander manage it and really prove himself a great? We'll find out for the Tote Sport Bowl with Mark Johnson. Walking forward now. And they're off for the principal feature of day one of the Grand National Festival. It is the Dope Sport Bowl Chase Grade 1. Carruthers and Nakara, both of them like to dominate, both of them going quickly into the first fence. Nakara blundered. And then Imperial Commander was over in third position. What a friend is in fourth. And Calgary Bay is held up last of the five as they go now towards fence number two, which is the first of the open ditches. Carruthers on the inside. Nakara more fluent there on his outside. Followed a length and a half away by the Gold Cup winner, Imperial Commander, racing in third position. What a friend is in fourth. And Calgary Bay is held up by Graham Lee. And the slightly longer run now up towards fence number three, which in two circuits time will be the last of 19 fences they take in this tote sport bowl chase coming towards a third Nakara and Carruthers jump it absolutely in time with one another would have made a great photo so coming up past with two circuits to go Carruthers runs the rail with the red sleeves the grey is Nakara Matty Batchelor and AP McCoy followed then by what a friend and Ruby Walsh towards the inside of Paddy Brennan in the black and white colors on Imperial Commander and Graham Lee and Calgary Bay at the back of the field through the Grand National start on now to the line of four fences taken down the back straight and it's Carruthers who leads the way now by a contested neck. Nakara towards his outside racing in second and then waiting just a length and a half away Imperial Commander towards the outside of what a friend and then a length and a half back to Calgary Bay as they go over fence number four and Imperial Commander was a little slow there. Imperial Commander didn't really see a great stride. He was out jumped comprehensively to his inner by what a friend, but it wasn't a serious error. On now towards fence number five. Carruthers and Nakara once again are going to take off as one. Two beautiful jumps. Once again, Imperial Commander, if you're going to crab him, just got it a little closer than the others, but it certainly wasn't an error at all. So go now towards an open ditch. Fence number six, Nakara and Carruthers. Once again, they ping it on a stride. That was a mistake by Imperial Commander. He wasn't that good at the previous two. That's the first notable error, and that came at the ditch fence number six. He's now back to fourth with what a friend on his inside, and that may have just been a bit of a wake-up call for Imperial Commander. He jumped that one better, but his jockey, Paddy Brennan, just gave him a little slap down the neck on landing, having taken fence seven, just to pick his ideas up. Calgary Bay still at the back of the field. So making the run now down the side of the course, the next fence, which is the cross fence, will be fence number eight. Nakara the Grey on these inside Carruthers, angling wide Imperial Commander as they cross over this fence, followed by What a Friend and finally Calgary Bay. So it's AP McCoy who's bidding for his third win in the Tote Sport Bowl chase, having taken in 2004 and Tuchev and 2007 on Exotic Dancer who leads the way. Two Carruthers on the inside in second, Imperial Commander in third, What a Friend is in fourth and Calgary Bay is last of the five as they go now towards the fence which was their first and Nakara who wasn't too fluent the first time around absolutely wings it this time as fence number nine. On towards halfway they go now in the Tote Sport bowl chase and as they do so it is Nakara towards the outside again he had a length there advantage over in second position Carruthers and then about two and a half lengths back to Imperial Commander followed by what a friend the Lexus chase winner and still the back marker Calgary Bay bidding to give Graham Lee his second win in this race having taken it on the popular Grey Grey Abbey back in 2005 on then towards fence number 11 the last in the circuit's time Nakara got in tight. He parts the birch and he's out jumped by Carruthers on his inside. So a circuit to go and it is Carruthers who leads this particular parade by about a neck to his outside. Nakara is racing in second. What a friend is creeping a bit closer, a length and a half away in third. Imperial Commander is in fourth. And Calgary Bay, as he's been throughout and just got niggled into that turn, is fifth and last. And once again, Paddy Brennan's just beginning to niggle away on Imperial Commander now for the second time. He's just urging the Gold Cup winner to try and pick up the bit and get a little bit closer now as they really begin to turn up the tempo, going towards fence number 12. And it's Carruthers on the inside who will lead here for Matty Batchelor. And once again, as he was on the previous circuit, Imperial Commander was not impressive there at all on that fence off the turn. And he's been rode along 
swung now by Paddy Brennan as they go now towards fence number 13. Nakara puts his grey head in front towards the outside. On the inside came Carruthers, followed by What a Friend, Imperial Commander and Calgary Bay. And once again, Brennan gets into the drive on Imperial Commander, driving the Gold Cup winner into contention on the outside as they take the ditch. And it was Nakara who led, and Imperial Commander is down! Imperial Commander has blundered and unseated Paddy Brennan at fence number 14. The open ditch has claimed him. Going now towards the next plane one, the leader was Nakara. He leads now by just the length to Carruthers, galvanised the inside by Matty Batchelor. As now they begin to make the turn out of the back straight. Now there's a break of two and a half lengths back to What a Friend and Calgary Bay, last of the quartet, as they make the run down the side of the course with four more fences to take in the Tote Sport Bowl chase. Nakara towards the outside will have the lead. He gets in tight. He blunders significantly. And Carruthers now moves back through on his inside. Ruby Walsh begins to push along on what a friend as they swing the final turn. Calgary Bay is last of the quartet. Three more fences to take. Nakara just has the lead. Carruthers sticking to him towards the inside. A break of two and a half lengths to what a friend. Nakara is fluent there. And he stole a length from Carruthers at the third from home. What a friend now goes into the shoot towards the outside. Calgary Bay looks well held in fourth. The final ditch, two from home. Nakara gets into it. Buddy hops over it. Here comes What a friend now. Comes a broadside of Nakara. Carruthers now raises his game towards the outside. And it's now Carruthers who's taken it up again for Matty Batchelor. What a friend is on the inside. Nakara now has dropped two and a half lengths away. Back in third. What one more fence to take, Carruthers and what a friend locked together over the final fence. What a friend was more fluent. He now races to a lead of over two lengths for Ruby Walsh and racing up towards the line. It is what a friend who is going to win the Tote Sport Bowl chase for Paul Nichols and Ruby Walsh. What a friend wins. Carruthers in second, Nakara in third, and Calgary Bay was fourth. The champion fluffs his lines and the fresh horse proves that Liverpool can be Paul Nichols and Ruby Walsh's happy hunting ground. They've had a grade one double today. What a friend follows up the triumph of Big Bucks in the opener for the pair and wins at odds of five to two.